Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, continuing with our freshman spotlight series as we take a look back at that 2023 class and talk about some of the true freshmen that will be having a year one impact this college football season. And we're going down to the Alabama Crimson Tide and we're talking about five-star running back Justice Haynes. And you take a look at what Alabama wants to do on the offensive side of the ball. And I've been pretty vocal during the offseason what Bill O'Brien was doing just wasn't really working. I think a lot of the offensive success you had at Alabama last year had a lot to do with Bryce Young just playing some backyard football and being the best quarterback on the, in the country, on the field, in the country, however you want to say it, and a lot less to do with what Bill O'Brien was scheming up on offense. And you bring in Tommy Reese, I think it's pretty clear that Nick Saban, Tommy Reese, they want to get more to that physicality in that run game, two tight ends. And I don't think there's a better running back to, to be able to do that, then Justice Haynes. Now, before we get into it again, just want to say thank you to you guys. And we've, we've talked a lot of this Alabama team and why the national media is doubting them and why you really shouldn't be counting out this Nick Saban coach team. They have a ton of talent, and I get there's maybe some question marks at that quarterback spot. But you look around this Alabama roster, and it is one of the most loaded in the country. They can, they are still national championship contenders. You guys have been awesome with all the feedback. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And then more importantly, I'd like to hear from Alabama fans. Like, how, like, what do we think Justice Haynes' role is going to be year one? I think he can be a bell cow personally. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. And then. Give us some other names for these true freshman highlights. We're going to be talking about Caleb Downs. We're probably going to be talking about Caden Proctor. This Alabama team is fully loaded with guys deserving of this freshman spotlight. So we'll be talking some more Alabama ball. Appreciate you guys locking in. Let's get to Justice Haynes. And the first thing I want to say is, like, he has been a bell cow at the high school level, right? You take a look back at his junior year, 275 carries for 2,300 yards and 29 touchdowns. Justice Haynes has the body to come in year one and be that workhorse running back. But what's more important is I want to get to the film a little bit. And I, you could pick a ton of plays to talk about Justice Haynes and why he's an elite running back. I chose to show the plays of showing why Justice Haynes is going to fit this Alabama offense perfectly because he gets downhill. He invites contact and it's not always going to be that 80 yard. He doesn't dance around in the backfield looking to pop that 80 yard run. He is completely okay putting his foot in the ground and going and getting eight, 10 yards, maybe even six, if not much is there. He's a physical back that invites contact and can run through people when he gets going downhill. You fire it up, and again, there's there are plenty of, of highlight clips of him going 80 yards. But what I love the most is when he runs with a low pad level, he wants to get downhill. He does not do much dancing. And even on the next play, right, he's going to take this one 75 yards for a touchdown, but he doesn't dance, right? He sees a hole and he gets there, gets going downhill quickly. And if nobody touches him, like he has the burners to take it to the house as well. He is, in my opinion, a complete running back. He's got a thick lower half. He also has the ability to catch out of the backfield, which we should talk about. I don't have a, I, I, it's really hard to see Justice Haynes struggling physically in pass protection. Like you see this guy, Bill, he's listed at 5'11, 200 pounds. I would be extremely surprised if he's not 210 pounds when he's trotting out there week one for Alabama. It, can you pass protect? I don't think he has any physical limitations in picking up linebackers, blitzing. It'd be more of does he, does he know his assignments? Does he know to pick up? And from how much football he's played, I'd be surprised if that's a struggle for him. Then he also shows the ability to catch out of the backfield. Again, really, really comfortable with the ball in the air, catches it, and when it is open space, and again, I don't mean to peg this guy as just a physical downhill back. Like He is extremely good in space. The misdirection, the change of direction, it's all there. The getaway speed, it's there. He checks off all the boxes that you really want to see, and again, does not look to dance. He wants to follow his lead backer or lead blocker and just get downhill really, really quickly, which is what Alabama wants to do on the offense side of the football. Now, pulling up this offensive jeb chart and just talking about what this Alabama offense is going to look like, I think this is the best Alabama offensive line we've seen in a minute, right? You're looking at JC Latham, who's probably going to be a top 10 pick. I think Tyler Booker, he's not eligible to the go to the draft, but he's going to be a guy that's a dominant force. I wouldn't be surprised, and you have a good offensive line. I wouldn't be surprised if Caden Proctor factors in at some point. You talk about true freshmen that have that physicality to play year one. Caden Proctor certainly checks that box. I 
I think that you're going to see a lot of 12 personnel going back with Tommy Reese. They're going to want to be physical and run the football. And I don't know if there's a better running back in this Alabama running back room than Justice Haynes to do that. And if Alabama is going to have a good season, they need to run the football and they need to run the football extremely effectively because you don't have a Bryce Young back there anymore. And I'm not saying the quarterback play is going to be bad because you look at it, Tyler Buckner, Ty Simpson, Jalen Milrow. That's a really good quarterback room. Like You have three quarterback options who can be successful quarterbacks. And I kind of trust at this point, you got three guys back there. I trust whoever wins that job to be a solid quarterback, but you don't have a Bryce Young back there. And so how do you best support a, a where you're going to have a, a new starting quarterback? How do you best support a young starting quarterback? It's having a dominant run game. And I think Justice Haynes fits exactly what Alabama needs in a running back who gets downhill, who is going to get those tough yards. And so when you ask me across the country, what are some true freshmen who are going to have massive impacts year one on their college football teams? I think Justice Haynes is right up there with being that kind of guy. Now, you take a look at this Alabama team. You have plenty of other guys that we'll be talking about. Caden Proctor, certainly one. I think Jalen Hale, probably another sneaky one that we should be talking about in terms of providing some juice in that wide receiver room. And a guy we'll be for sure talking about on the defense side of the ball, Caleb Downs. You don't see Nick Saban praising young kids the amount of times he's praised Caleb Downs. You go back to his high school film, a bona fide top 10 national dude. He's projected to start at that safety spot and does everything you really want in a safety. So we'll be talking some more Caleb Downs, but did want to start with Justice Haynes because in this Alabama offense, I think they really need Justice Haynes to be that workhorse, to be that physical back. And I think Justice Haynes is certainly capable of doing that. Again, appreciate you guys checking out the boys. If you do have, I, I would like to hear two things. One, do we think Justice Haynes is going to be that bell cow? Because he might not, and that might be okay for Alabama. And then two, I would like to hear what are some other true freshmen that are going to be stepping up for this Alabama team because there is a laundry list of guys that certainly could be doing that. Appreciate you guys checking the boys out. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to you all later.